really do Animal Kingdom with no plan at all? Let's find out. Okay, today Quincy and I are in Animal Kingdom and we're going to see if no plan really is the best plan. Quincy, are you so excited? Here we Hi. go. So today we have a wheel on our phone with a bunch of random things that we're gonna do around the park. If you watched our Epcot video, it's pretty much the same idea. So we're gonna spin and see where we're headed first. Here we go. Woo! Look at her, look at her go. We're gonna ride a thrill ride. Ooh! Guys, to start our yes it is. Kevin! My queen. So our first choice was Everest. Everest is down. So we are a little bit heartbroken, but it's just the situation. So we're gonna head into Dino Land where we're riding my second favorite ride, Dinosaur. Yeah. How do you feel about Dinosaur? I'm obsessed with Dinosaur. It's a controversial one. It is controversial. I hated it for years and years and years. Yeah. I absolutely love it now. One of my favorite rides. I like it because I feel real fear in my bones. Absolutely. There's something about not being able to see anything and that being shaken and just like you're in a shoebox. Absolutely shaken to death. I love it. That's great. I'm all about it. If you don't know anything about Dinosaur, it is a dark thrill ride, and Dr. Seeker is sending you back to try to find his iguanodon, and you really hope that you're not gonna bring home anything else. Before it was Dinosaur, it was called Countdown to Extinction. All right, Dinosaur is not a ride for everyone. It's very dark, it's very scary. I have many friends, grown men, who hate it. I did not ride it for a really long time because I was so scared of it. Emma used to hate it, but I love it. It's, in my opinion, probably the most thrilling ride in Disney World, even though it's not a roller coaster, just because it is so dark, it shakes you so much, it's loud, it's scary, and it's a fun story too, so I'm excited. You ready to ride? I'm ready to ride. Let's do it. Seeker sent us back to right before the asteroid hit. It's like he didn't know. What was that about? I he don't was know. like, it'll be fine. And then it was not fine. It wasn't fine at all. I mean, now it's fine. We did survive. We made it. Yeah. Barely. Barely. By the, the skin of our dinosaur teeth. And spoiler, we got the iguanodon. We got the iguanodon. So it kind of worked out for us. We we're already doing science and we got the dinosaur. For I might last. be in for a career change. Yeah, I think that we should be Dr. Emma and Dr. Quincy now. I only will refer to that title. Thank you. <laughs> Great. That was a good one. I know, look at it go. That was really impressive actually. We're riding our favorite. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. Um, we'll pick a different favorite. We'll pick a different favorite. All right, well the good news is that Dinosaur was Emma's second favorite ride because yeah. her first favorite ride was closed and we're here now because it is back open. Here we are. Expedition Everest, baby. I am thrilled. This has been my favorite ride since I was this big. That big? That big. You're very For small. Real. Wow. Yeah. Conditioning. Fingers crossed. We're getting a drink. Yes! I'm so excited. Woo! Okay, so we decided to come to Warrung Outpost. It doesn't have a huge variety of things, but it does have some good frozen drinks, which is really important, especially on a hot day. And then sometimes on busier days, they'll even have hot dogs and chips if you're not looking to stand in line a lot or if you just want something super quick. So this could be a good option. All right, we're going to find a, a spot to sit down. Shade. Shade. We hope. We're pale. We are sunscreen queens. Give us shade. Sunscreen. I see shade. Oh, thank goodness. Sunscreen soul sisters. Sunscreen soul sisters. 
here are our drinks from Warung Outpost. I went with the Maharaja Lime Margarita, which is Saza Silver Tequila, Triple Sec, Agave Nectar, and Lime Boost. Basically just a frozen margarita, but on a hot day like today, I'm pretty excited about it. And Emma got the non-alcoholic drink. I got the Shangri-La Berry Freeze. It is non-alcoholic, and it's basically just a strawberry puree. So it's kind of like a virgin uh, daiquiri, strawberry daiquiri, I'd say. Nice. Okay, it's exactly, literally exactly like a strawberry daiquiri, like a virgin strawberry daiquiri. Very light, very refreshing. If you need something that's cold and really light, it's a good one. It's awesome they have that because it's got, like, a lot of the frozen drinks, they come pre-mixed, yes. so they can't take alcohol out, so it's cool they have a frozen one. It's not alcoholic for kids or if you don't drink. I have the margarita. I'm sure this is going to be good. No, no. I poured it on myself. It's good. It's, like, a super mild margarita, so it's not super heavy on the tequila, but it's still in there and I can taste it. I don't feel like I, like, didn't get enough. Um, Really great. The, I'm sure this is true for yours too. The frozen texture is awesome. It's, it's like really smooth. not overly icy. Yeah. Like the, those machines I got back there are putting in work. Very limey. I would absolutely get this again. I, it's not specialty. Neither of these are that special. So if you go to one of the bars that Molly and I visited in the Drink Around the World Challenge, you're going to find something a little more exciting. But if you just need to cool off, if you need something for you to watch the bird show, which is right behind With us. With no line. With no line. That's a very good point. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Look, it's Dinosaur Chippendale and Goofy. And Goofy. Woo! Drink sad, frozen deliciousness. I've cooled off. Have you cooled off? I am much cooler. I'm gonna spin the wheel. Woo, big money. I could eat. I ate a margarita. I could eat. Okay, wait, I like this one. It's not eating, but it is find a unique souvenir. Ooh, okay. I have an idea. All right. Emma, look, it's the drummers. I think I could be a drummer. I think you could be a drummer too. I guess the Yeah, you don't have a drum, but. You have to picture the Oh, okay, I'm picturing it. I'm imagining it. It's right. Wow, you're really good at that. Yeah. <laughs> I think we found a pretty unique souvenir spot. All right. I feel good about this one. It's not something I've ever personally bought here. No, me neither. So this is, uh, we are, of course, we've moved on from Asia. We are now in Africa here in Animal Kingdom. And on the side of Zawadi Traders, which is the biggest merchandise stop here, there is this little stand where you can find actual African artists doing wood carving and jewelry making, beading. It is amazing souvenirs it, it are it are they are they are these are amazing souvenirs um and there's some really awesome stuff if you want a little bit of disney you can even get this one that says akuna matata though they aren't disney specific souvenirs they are gorgeous and for instance today it looks like justice malay from nairobi is here carving one of these walking sticks that you can then purchase and i've definitely seen them out before and had conversations with the artists and they are lovely so it's, it's definitely worth a stop. This is like a, a more authentic cultural experience than you'll find in a lot of places around Disney World. It's very, very cool. Pick out which necklace you would like the best. This one. That one's very beautiful. It's really beautiful. I love the simplicity. I'm very much a minimalist. You love a, you have like a black and white? Black and white yeah. That's a great choice. I like this one right above it, the green. Oh, I love the green colors. It's very pretty. I think that's just really nice. That these are so personal. They're yeah. So unique. Yeah. You can't get them anywhere else. Yeah, I that's like very that. cool. All right, we found our unique souvenir, so I'm spinning. Woo! Look at it go. Yep. Okay. Lunch. Ah, oh, thank goodness. That margarita's making me sleepy. Pretty excited. So we're en route now to Pandora. Our no plan is working out where we're just kind of taking a lap today. Yeah, I feel actually really good. It's nice. Now this park's a little easier to do that than when we had this at Epcot where we were like back and forth, back and forth, but it's been pretty nice. Um, we gotten some good rides in, yep. drinks, no yep. food. Finally food. Yes. Um, we're headed to Satuli Canteen, which is widely considered one of the best quick service restaurants in Disney World. Most people on our team agree that it is. How do you feel about it? I love it. It's one that I don't go to a lot because friends and family will go somewhere else. Yeah. But I really, really like it. Yeah, I'm 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 excited to eat there. I'm hungry and I I want a bowl of various foods mixed together. And some noodles. And some noodles. So Satuli Canteen is a quick service here in Pandora. They serve a variety of create your own bowls. It's kinda like alien chipotle. Yeah. And you can get different bases, different choices of meats. I really like the tofu and I don't even like tofu. 
and you get to pick your sauces. It's pretty awesome. They also have the famous cheeseburger pod. We did mobile order in the My Disney Experience app. To do that, you just swipe up on that little plus in the middle, you hit order food, select your restaurant and when you will arrive. So you can do it immediately if there's a time available or you can go for later if you are like getting in line for a ride or something and just wanna have lunch ready. Once you are at the restaurant, well, you pick out your food and then once you are at the restaurant, you can hit I'm here to prepare my order and then it's usually only a couple of minutes before you can head in to pick up your food. So for lunch, we got the slow roasted sliced grilled beef bowl, which this is kind of a build your own, but if you're before you're building it, you get the slow roasted sliced grilled beef that's marinated in a blend of garlic, herbs, red pepper spices, and red wine vinegar, and it has a vegetable crunchy slaw on top and some boba balls too. And then to make our base, we chose noodles, and we also chose the charred green onion vinaigrette. And because it's a little bit of a like more sizable bowl, we chose to split it today because we're not super hungry. But when you come to a lot of the mobile order places, you can try the kids' meals if you're not looking for something really big, or if you're wanting to split something and you want to share something with someone in your party, this is a good option. That is 10 out of 10. It's so good. I don't get the noodles a lot, but I have to say they make it taste very Asian-inspired. Yes. Like the other bases, I feel like usually the vibe I get is a little more like fusion or like not a script, but the noodles feel very like low many and the, the flavors I'm getting in the way they're sauteed is very like, gives me those vibes. It's so much food. It's a lot of food, which I actually really love. I'm somebody who, if you've been in the sun for a really long time, I am starving, but I think it's also really light. So it, you get full without feeling really heavy, which yeah. is important to That's me. what I like here is with the options. Though they might not be that much healthier, they do feel a little healthier than like poor nug nuggets in Magic Kingdom, which I really like. The beef also is super red. It's from their cook cooking process. It is fully cooked. It's just how they smoke it. You can actually see it smoking when you come in and it is so good. It's so tender. I love this meal. It's really good. Lunch was good. I'm feeling fueled up. I'm having an amazing random day. I feel really, really good today. Yeah. I think we do one more random item okay. and see how the day pans out. That's Alrighty. science, folks. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Ride the shortest weight. I didn't All spin right. the fake wheel. Pretend oh, here, I did. We're, we're spinning. Ride wow. The shortest weight. Oh my gosh. Wow, who would have guessed? That's going to be great. Okay, so for our shortest ride, we ended up at Triceratops Spin. This one is a great one for your younger kids, people who don't want to ride Everest. It is a Dumbo type ride. It is normally the least popular in the park, but it can be really valuable if you have people who don't love the bigger rides. Good news, it started raining. I love the weather. I love to bring it up. It's, it, it's only getting heavier and the ride hasn't started yet. I can't wait to ride through this. Me too, me too. It's a beautiful day in Orlando. It's gonna be great. It's still sunny. I will note that the sky is still blue and sunny. It's just also raining. But will my attitude be sunny after the rain? We're gonna find out. We'll find out. Stay tuned, folks. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna take us higher. Throw up. <laughs> I know this is a Dumbo S. This is the best. I didn't know you were so scared of this. I hate heights. I can't look. I will, I'll have you guys know that I literally was like, oh, well, Triceratops Spin is the lowest weight. And everyone was like, great, let's go. I am a go-getter. I won't admit I'm scared until it's too late to back out. Oh, it is too late to back it out. It is too late. We are actively on the run. I'm really bad at steering this, <laughs> though. I... Wow. A, ra a rainy, spinny circle. I'll take it. It was a short wait. It was a short wait. You can't deny that. <laughs> It was amazing. Except actually. for that part at the end. <laughs> We're just not going to bring it up. Okay. All right. I actually had a great day today, too. Like, we literally did a bunch of really fun stuff. We got to ride some fun rides. We ate some good food. We, we drank some good drinks. All of my favorites. Yeah. And it was all random. I actually do think that if there's a park where you can have a good day without a plan, it's this one. This is a great one. There's not that many rides. Odds of you being able to get on the rides a little higher. You can get all your must do's through. So, I mean, this is a no plan park. I think it was great. Yeah. i do it again. Now go like and subscribe. If you liked this video, go watch us do it again in Epcot. See you there.